What's going on ladies and gents, Dalibor here for T3G and welcome back to another app spotlight. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Medibang Paint Pro. Yeah, that's right. Coming up. Come, 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 come on. All right, now this is something that I actually learned about from one of my Caffeine compatriots, by the way, if you're not checking us out on caffeine.tv slash T3G media, you should be. Uh, this is a completely free Photoshop equivalent. Uh, now, for my first impression, as soon as I got onto the site, there's a lot of ads, and my first thought was, I know it says free, but there's probably gonna be apps or ads in the actual application. So that's my first initial thought, and I'm I was right. Uh, they look like they have a bunch of other apps, so we might even be coming back to this site on another on another uh, episode. But today we're going to be looking at Medibang Paint Pro. First thing I notice when you get in, uh, they're actually so when you first open it up, let, let's let's just start up all the way from the beginning. When you first open it up, it gives you an advertisement. Uh, it looks like it's for one of their things, so we'll leave that. Uh, and then you do have the option to log in or sign up. Now this is, I presume, to make your stuff available on other devices since these apps are available on uh, iPads and phones and all that other stuff. So I'm sure that's helpful to people who are gonna be doing that en masse, but today we're just gonna be working on the desktop. So I'm gonna close this and we're gonna just create a new file, uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, boom, 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 no, I, just gonna do 72 DPI. Uh, we'll do a black background to start and boom. All right, as normal, I'm gonna just pump out the, the thumbnail for this video and then uh, we'll come back and see what the impressions are. So that is uh, a real quick, uh, real quick uh, thumbnail made. I'm actually really, really impressed with how many features are super quick and super responsive. I think this is on a whole other level from uh, Krita. Krita was the last thing that we looked at that was a Photoshop equivalent. Um, this is on a whole nother level, really. Uh, I really, really dig the layer structure. It, it works really well, uh, very similarly to Photoshop. The only things that were a little weird is the text. You have to be logged in to get the full range of fonts, uh, which is weird to me, but whatever. You know, again, if you're gonna be using this on multiple devices, you're gonna wanna be logged in anyway. But I did find one of the the existing like few fonts that came with it that still works for, for what I was doing here. As far as the actual interactions, all the keyboard shortcuts that I'm using to work so that definitely sped up my workflow I, I, I can't imagine anyone coming from Photoshop maybe looking for an alter alternative to Photoshop would have any issue getting right off the ground with this I'm, I've got a, a lot of other features that I'd like to get into you know you got your tabbed uh, tabbed images which is another Photoshop kind of thing that is very heavily used by people who work on multiple images so that's a big thing but I, I i can't possibly not recommend this this is an outstanding software i'm super excited about it and uh, I'm, I'm interested to maybe uh, do even some some art with this i mean it doesn't have as many tools here on the side as photoshop does so there might be some drawback in certain applications but i mean looking at it i've got a magic wand kind of anything that i'd be that i'd be using is there you know i've got a bucket tool i've got the the fill tool which does it have a gradient that's the gradient tool right there yeah i mean it, it's pretty straightforward and it's got basically all the main tools that i'd be using anyway plus we got other tools here we got some color options snapping you've got filters not a ton of filters but still who cares again if if you're looking for a free alternative to photoshop i think this is so far my number one recommendation for an awesome photo editor slash drawing software. Just a quick one today, I'm genuinely very impressed and I'm gonna be definitely back to this website and check out the other apps that they have to see uh, what else we can get done with this. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you guys check out App Spotlight next week. Tomorrow we have a theme Thursday, which is gonna be, uh, I think the theme is comfort. I'll let you guys uh, figure that out once you watch it. And uh, 
Come back, of course, Friday for gameplay. Monday is our tech video that I promised this past Monday, but I had some medical issues. But I'm definitely getting that done for next Monday, so come back and check that out. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Definitely be getting it done for this coming Monday. I hate you. Why is this? I'm clearly, I'm clearly finishing the video. Why do I hate Predator? You suffer. <laughs>